ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, starting the year with a bang. I'm blown away. Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really, really excited because I'm going to share with you a review on a flanker of one of my absolute favorite fragrances, and that is Musk Noir Rose, a flanker of the famous Musk Noir that came out last year. As you all know, I am totally obsessed with this one and I featured it in a lot of my videos. I think you are all tired of it by now. In the best releases of 2021, my most used fragrances, I mean, I'm totally obsessed with it. And once I knew that they are coming out with a new flanker, and when I saw the notes, I was immediately sold. So I continued to look at the internet to see when it's going to be released. And I'm telling you, the day it dropped at Sephora, one hour after I was in the store <laughs> buying it. So I have it now for almost a week. Uh, so I had a fair chance to wear it. As you can see, I have already quite a dent in it. So if you want to know all about Musk Noir Rose and also a full comparison between the flanker and the original one, and please keep on watching. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Noura and on this channel I mostly talk about fragrances, so if you are a fragrance lover then please consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload any new video. Also follow me on Instagram where I post some exclusive content that I don't do here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's start. So the original Musk Noir that was released last year is a beautiful musky plummy Oh, amazing fragrance, has a little bit of a powderiness because there is heliotrope, it has also um, a sweet note, which you don't get very much. It's a very clean, a little bit sweet, elegant fragrance that I absolutely adore. And I have quite a dent on it, as you can see, so I wear this fragrance a lot. So when I heard about the flanker, I was really, really excited and I went ahead, as I said, and bought it immediately. Was I disappointed? Absolutely not. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So the original one had a very simplistic uh, note breakdown, let's say. It had in the top plum, it, has in, it had in the mid the musk and the heliotrope and in the base suede. So, and it is quite a simple fragrance there is no complexity in it but yet it's absolutely stunning the new one on the other hand is more complex it's warmer it's sweeter it's more floral and definitely more sensual in my opinion so the new musk noir rose has in the top bergamot pink pepper and also plum in the mid we have the musk the rose and also the tuberose and in the base we have vanilla so as you can see from the notes it's much more floral and also a little bit warmer and sweeter because there is an added vanilla both of them have the signature mask of narciso rodriguez which i personally adore and it's definitely the predominant note in both of them but while in this one the plum is really predominant uh, here is more the florals, I would say. So when you first spray Musk Noir Rose, you get the bright opening, as you can see, there is bergamot, there is pink pepper, so a, a bright opening, and you will get the musk and also the rose. However, the rose remains in this fragrance, but uh, it takes a little bit of a back seat when the tuberose really comes out. So to me, I get a little bit more tuberose than the rose, but still the rose is really predominant here. The whole composition is then sweetened by a beautiful vanilla and plum note that are just stunning, stunning, stunning. This is a stunning fragrance. It's more appropriate for winter than the Musk Noir, if you know what I mean, but still both of them are fragrances that I can wear all year around but if we compare them definitely this is warmer so it's more suitable for colder weather so you would think it's more warm it has also vanilla it must perform better than the original one and here is where i have some bad news it does perform better but really not much 
Unfortunately, both of them are more of skin scents. I tried everything. I sprayed it on clothes. I, I over sprayed. I did everything possible, but this fragrance does not perform well. Does it perform a little bit better than the original one? Yes, but not really much. So for those who were waiting for a better performing version of the original one, I'm sorry to say this is not it. Now that we have delivered the bad news, let me get into some good news. This fragrance is amazing for layering. Uh, so I tried to layer this fragrance with a lot of fragrances and it worked beautifully. So let's start first with layering it with other Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. So first of all, I tried it with the original Musk Noir and it didn't blew me away. It's just a middle version of between the two. I didn't find this layering combo so exciting. But when I layered it with pure musk, it definitely enhanced the performance of Musk Noir Rose. But it did also tone down a little bit of the warmth and the sweetness. So the musk really shined more. Of course, you can, this is something to be expected. And it toned down a little bit of the warmth and the sweetness. So I would say this is a combo if you want to make it last. But definitely as a scent, I prefer this alone. Then I tried to layer this fragrance with other fragrances in my collection. And this is when I was really surprised. This layered amazingly with all light floral fragrances in my collection. So... I tried it with Pivoin Suzu, Jasma Kozamunu, Chance Au Tendre, and it was amazing, just amazing, beautiful combo. I sprayed first these fragrances and then I spritzed over the Musk Noir Rose. Amazing combo and it made all these fragrances that are a little bit light, so Chance Au Tendre and Pivoin Suzu and Jasmin Kuzamunu are uh, very light fragrances and, and also don't last very long. This enhanced their performance. Not by much, not that they are now beast mode, but they definitely performed better when layered with this fragrance. And also, the scent itself was really, really good. So I would suggest, if you have this fragrance, to layer it with your light floral fragrances. Trust me, you won't regret it. The only thing that I have to mention is don't try to layer it with heavy florals. So when I tried to layer this uh, with La Prada La Femme or Prada La Femme Entente, it didn't work very well uh, because these are very powerful fragrances and that one is really light. So I got a different scent maybe just in the beginning, but it did not change anything in the dry run. Mostly what this fragrance did was to add this sensuality to these other fragrances that I mentioned. If you are into layering, you will love this combo. So that was definitely a win. Now, which one is my favorite and which one would I definitely recommend? My favorite is definitely Musk Noir Rose because it has this very deep sensuality that isn't present in the original one and it's more complex and it's just stunning. Just, just stunning. If you loved the original one, I think you will be head over heels over the new one. I would have never guessed that there would be a fragrance that takes the place of this one. But yeah, uh, I think, honestly, I have no place now for this one. Uh, Musk Noir Rose is a definite yes for me. So I would definitely say, if you didn't have any in your collection, skip on this one and get yourself Musk Noir rose unless you don't like florals so if you don't like florals then maybe go with the musk noir otherwise this is the best just go for this one now i did a short video uh, where i shared my like first impression on uh, the musk noir rose 
And one of my subscribers asked, how does it compare to Narciso Rodriguez Fleur Mask? I don't own Fleur Mask, so I went to the stores and I sprayed it. And let me tell you, they are totally different. So if you heard about the name Mask Noir Rose, and you thought mm, it should be really similar to Fleur Musk, it doesn't. Fleur Musk is more fresher, uh, it's more musky, and the rose is also different. The rose in Fleur Musk is more of this fresh rose. Here this rose is this very deep sensual rose, and also here the tuberose is really predominant, something that you don't have in Fleur Musk, and it's also definitely warmer and sweeter. That said, I would bet that uh, Fleur mask layered with this one will work perfectly. I personally did not test it. It's just a theory, a suggestion. Uh, I did not try it, but I think they will go together very, very well. So overall, this is a beautiful, musky, plummy, floral fragrance that is very sensual and warm and cozy just a beautiful fragrance amazing for layering with other light floral fragrances and also stunning uh, on its own and this is definitely now my favorite narciso musk noir the original one was for a long time my absolute favorite uh but yeah this one dethroned the og musk noir now, when can you wear this fragrance? As I said, I would consider this one an all year round fragrance. I personally always use the original one as a bad scent. And I think I would definitely do the same with the new one and also for cozy nights. The only disappointment that I have with this one is the performance. I would have hoped for a better performing fragrance because I would have loved to wear this fragrance uh, like as a day scent but unfortunately it does not perform very well. It's mostly an intimate fragrance, so it's perfect as a bed scent or also in environments where you are not allowed to wear perfumes. Uh, I would definitely recommend a Musk Noir Rose. So that was it. That was my full review of Musk Noir Rose. Definitely check my full review also of Musk Noir, which I will leave linked up here.